Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Alessa, and today I am very excited to talk to you guys about all 23 of my piercings. Before we start the video, I want to give myself a little bit of a shout out because I actually crocheted this all by myself. I just finished it yesterday and it's my first ever crochet project, so I just wanted to gas myself up for the craftsmanship. I'll put a link in the description for the tutorial that I followed in case anyone else is interested in that because the tutorial was really good so shout out to the girl who made it I forget her name but anyways moving into the actual purpose of this video I'm gonna talk to you guys about all my piercings and I'm gonna just go over like when I got it how much it hurt if you guys have any questions about what jewelry I buy or any aftercare just leave me a comment below because I'm more than happy to find you the link to the jewelry or anything like that I'm not gatekeeping anything so don't worry so let's move into the video First we're going to start off with my left ear just because that's the one that's closest so I'll scoot a little bit closer to you guys. So this is my left ear. As you can see I have eight piercings on here in total um, and I'll just kind of start from the top down. So the first one I have up here is a cartilage piercing. I did this one maybe like six months ago. I do a lot of my own piercings. I did train as a piercer so I have a little bit of knowledge of like how to do it which is why my ears are so beautiful. But yeah, I really try to curate my ears in a specific way because I really plan out the way I want them to look. So that's kind of why they're laid out this way. I didn't just let somebody decide. This one maybe was like a 4 out of 10 or I'll, you know what, I'll even say a 3 out of 10 in terms of pain. The cartilage really isn't that bad and I would highly recommend it to anyone who's starting out with piercings. Then next up, I have a rook piercing. I'll get a little bit closer so you can see it. It's this one right here and it just has a little hoop in it and a little charm that I got on Etsy. Um, I find that the Rook did hurt a little bit more than like a regular cartilage just because it's kind of like in there and the, the cartilage is more thick. Um, so I would say maybe the Rook was like a 5 or a 6 out of 10 for pain. Then moving on, as you can see, I have a conch piercing right here. Most of the piercings I got were when I was 17 and now I'm 20 so I've just kind of added on little bits and pieces over the years. But yeah, these ones are from when I was 17. I would say maybe the conch was like a 6 or a 7 out of 10 in terms of pain. It's really not that bad. I know some people think that you can't wear headphones or something like that with a conch but I can confidently say that I still wear my airpods and headphones and all that kind of stuff with it so don't worry about that if you do want to get it. Then as you can see I have five low piercings here. I did one, two, three myself but these first two were done like just at Claire's when I was a teenager. I'm really into this whole stacked lobe thing. I think it's like really aesthetically pleasing and cute so that's why I did that but this is this ear in full. And we'll just, we'll work our way across. So now we'll go to my face because there are quite a few piercings here that you can't even see. First up, we have my nose piercing. I got my nose pierced when I was 13 and when I was in eighth grade because I saw these other girls that had it and I was like, you know what? Nobody can walk around here with a nose piercing if I don't have one. So I convinced my mom after like several months of like really, really like wearing her down. And nose piercing has been with me for several years. I love it. I think I've had this specific jewelry in for a really long time now. I used to have the other side of my nose pierced as well but it just like I couldn't get the placement exactly the way I wanted so I just took it out. Then this one's my kind of secret piercing. I do have my septum pierced. Voila. It's not my favorite piercing. I got it with a friend when I was 17 and I just did it because she was like oh I want to do it will you do it with me and I'm obsessed with piercing so of course I was like yes. In terms of pain, the septum really doesn't hurt. I would say it's the most comparable to a lobe piercing, unless they pierce you wrong. If they don't go through your soft spot, which is like the earlobe kind of texture, it'll go through your cartilage, which will make it hurt a little bit more. But yeah, this one was maybe a 2 out of 10. I never wear it out. I think if I did, I would probably change it to like a very snug little gold hoop. But for now, it's kind of just a party trick that I can put away and pull out whenever I want. Then speaking of party trick piercings, I have two piercings in my mouth that you actually can't see ever unless I were to show it to you, but I will now. So the first piercing I have is my smiley. That's it. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of unflattering to show. A lot of people opt for the horseshoe jewelry in their smiley, but I wouldn't recommend that because from what I know, it can damage the enamel on your teeth, which is why I just have a little barbell, and I like that it's kind of secret as well. I did my smiley myself. It took me four seconds to do, and I would say it was a one out of ten in terms of pain. I find the ones in your mouth are kind of, well, other than your tongue, which I don't have personally, but they're very, like, not painful. And the next piercing I have in my mouth is my web. I hope it's not too, like, unclear, but... 
So my web piercing is actually my newest piercing. I did this one myself as well and I did it I think maybe four months ago and it also did not hurt at all. I would give it a 1 out of 10 as well. Now we will move on to my right ear and I will get a little bit closer so you guys can see. It's kind of hard because the viewfinder is like on that side so I can't see it right now but this is my right ear. I hope it's uh, visible for you guys. So on my right ear I have a cartilage piercing and then I have this flat piercing as well. I got this cartilage piercing when I was 16. It was one of the first piercings I went and got and signed for myself. And then this A piercing, um, I did that one myself. I've had that one for probably a year now. Then I also have a forward helix piercing, which is this one right here. I got this one done professionally and I've had that one for like two or three years now. Also one of the ones I got when I was 17. I really don't like the jewelry that I have in it, but I just haven't found something that I really like yet. So I haven't changed it, but that's that one. I don't know if you guys can see, but you might be able to tell I have like a scar from having a nose piercing on the other side. That's how you know. And I have this little guy here. This is like not a cartilage. It's just kind of like an upper lobe, maybe I'd call it. I don't know. I did this one within the last two years. I did it myself as well. And in terms of pain, I would give it maybe like a four. I also forgot to say for my forward helix, that one was pretty painful. I would give that one like a seven out of ten. I'm not sure why that one hurt so much more than my other ones, but it did. And just like the other side, I do have five lobe piercings on this ear as well that are symmetrical to the left. Oh so yeah, those are my ears, as you can see in the flesh. Now we'll move on to my last couple of piercings, and I'll start with the most obvious, which you might have seen in other videos based on the way that I'm sitting. But I do have my nipple pierced. I don't know if you can see it, um, but you can kind of see it through the shirt maybe. I actually used to have both of them done, but I just took one out because I thought it would look cute like that. I don't know why, but I like it. I got my nipples pierced when I was 17, um, and in terms of pain, I would say that was definitely one of the most painful piercings I've ever gotten, obviously. Not only do you have to show your boobs to a stranger, but you're also like literally stabbing yourself through the nipple, so it does hurt. Um, I would say it's probably like an 8 out of 10 in terms of pain. But like obviously if you're at a good piercer, it's going to be over in two seconds. So don't let that stop you from achieving your dreams of getting a piercing. Then moving on to my last piercing, number 23, I have my belly button done. And I've had my belly button done for several years now. My cousin actually did it in my bedroom when I was like 16 and I've had it ever since. So I hope that this video was nice for you guys to watch. I know a lot of my friends are always asking me to do their piercings or they're taking pictures of my ears for inspo. So maybe I was able to give you some inspo too. Again, like I said before, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to comment them below. I will answer everybody because I have nothing else to do other than interact with people, so let me know. I also wanted to say my shoe collection video has literally gotten to like almost 500 views now ever since I uploaded it. So thank you guys so much for watching that and watching all my other videos and watching this one too. I won't keep you guys here any longer, but thanks for being here again. I hope you guys have a great day, a great rest of your week, and I'll see you on my next upload. Bye!